Hello and welcome to UiPath Automation Hub series episode number 8. In today's episode, we are going to see how we can go ahead and manage the control version or version controlling of UiPath robots. Now, to control a version and to upload project and to create a repository, I am going to use Git in today's demonstration. In our previous video, we have seen how to create a workflow using Dispatcher and Performer, which you can go ahead and have a look at the cards which I have added to check the previous video. Now let's go ahead and let's see how we can attach this workflow or take a backup of this workflow on Git. In order to do that, I'm going to navigate to my Git. My GitHub link is github.com. Now in this Git, what you have to do is you have to create a new repository. Now let's go ahead and let's create a new repository. Now once we click on new creating a new repository, you can see you see the name of the owner and the repository name. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the name of the repository, which is going to be my resume screening bot. And this resume screening bot, I'm going to add a description here. So you have to add, as, add the description also. So description is nothing but, uh, you know, reading or you can say extracting details from resume and add data in CRM. I'm just going to add some sample description. I'm going to make it a public so you can also go ahead and have a look at workflow and you can download this workflow from my repository. So I'm going to keep it public for you. I'm going to add initialize repository document which is readme and I'm going to say create a repository. Now once you click on create repository, it creates a sample repository for you like this. Now you just have to do is copy the link of the repository navigate to your UiPath workflow, click on home, click on team and click on get in it. Now all you have to do is click on get in it and select the folder. Now select folder and say, it will show you all the details which you want to add or you remove. You can remove it here by just unchecking the details. And I'm going to say, this is my first commit. So I'm going to say first commit. Get. I'm going to say commit and push both. And the URL which we have copied, you just have to enter here. Now this URL is nothing but the repository URL of what you just have created. And I will get back to this one and give it a name. So I'm going to use the same name from the URL as the remote name. I'm going to say add and save. And that's it. Now all you have to do is just enter the username. Now this username is my GitHub username and password. So my username for Git is Nisar Kadam and my password is blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now once I have entered the password and the details, I'm just going to click on okay. And that's it. The current branch is out of date. No problem. Overwrite remote. And I'm going to push the details. Now you can see pushing the changes and that's it. Now, once you see the small arrows in your project folder location, that means your workflow is updated on Git. Now let's go and navigate to Git and refresh. Now once you have refreshed, you can see that the details, every single detail has been pushed to Git, which you can go ahead and download from Git anytime at any location. If you have this URL, you can just go ahead and download a complete zip. So let's go ahead and navigate to settings. And in settings, I'm going to attach and give access to now all I have to do is login and confirm my password and I have to invite a collaborator, which is going to be my manager. Shripat. So I'm going to attach his GitHub name and I'm going to say add Shripat to resume screening bot, which will automatically trigger an email update for Shripat. Now, once this is done, what I'm going to do is come back, refresh and my GitHub is done. The backup of my workflow on GitHub has been taken and that's how you go ahead and do a version controlling. Now all Shripath has to do is go ahead and click on this particular link and download entire code from there to check how you can go ahead and download any project from GitHub, which is of UiPath into your studio. Check out this video, which I have attached into the cards. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to create a project and upload this entire project in automation hub. See you next time.